I'm back at it and I'm a step behind so I canned a dozen jars of jam plus some yesterday well two things went wrong one it never set um, and I think it's because I used very very ripe strawberries and I try not when I make jam I try not to use the added pectin I know it's a little more work to cook them a little longer but I like the older ways the older methods and so that's what I try to do it worked really well for us last year with our raspberries it did not work this time so <laughs> I emptied all my jars had to get new lids packed in so we're gonna do this again I've still got more strawberries to to can as jam so I'm gonna get all this going and hopefully have them all canned before the baseball game today so we're gonna get to it this is how I'm doing it we're just cutting these bruises off putting them in the blender pureeing them and then I'll put them in the pot. I mean, not that one. That one's already got jam in it. Careful. We'll put it in, in this pot and get another batch of jam going. So this is the last of our bruised strawberries. So once this gets going, I'm hopefully, hopefully we'll have this batch up to boil and ready to go in the canner as soon as the other one is done. But we'll see. All right. I... I'm still working with strawberries so I just finished canning the last batch of jam I had to redo the first batch because it didn't set um, and like I said before I typically try not to use pectin or as much sugar but I went with the pectin and the full amount of sugar because these are very very ripe so I thought maybe their natural sugars weren't enough. They already broken down. Now these two jars were the leftovers of both batches that didn't quite fill a jar. And so I just set them aside, let them cool, and put them in the fridge. And we'll use them right away. Oh, you hear that? That was my jar ceiling. Anyways, so this one is from the first batch that I redid. Now, it's definitely thicker, but it's still way too runny for jam. This one, however, this one is very thick. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very slow to move around. Um, and I, I don't know why this one worked out so well and this one didn't didn't so if anyone has tips on on how to get it to set better I, I don't know where I went wrong so it's not it's not a complete loss I can use these for pies and bacon and even make tea or lemonade with and it will be delicious and wonderful so it's not going to go to waste but I was hoping to have all of this as jam. So that first batch has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 half pints of processed jam, but it's not, it's super runny. It's not jam. So I don't, I don't know. All I have left is probably 10 more pounds of strawberries to dice and put in the freezer. I have four or five pounds in the fridge just for fresh eating. The rest will be dehydrated and frozen for other things we want to use them for. But it's time to go to baseball. So another thing I gotta finish tomorrow or the next day whenever I can get around to it. But if anyone has tips on, on the jam thing, um, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I don't know where I went wrong this this set pretty well um, and, and I'm happy with it it's a soft set it's not real thick like the store-bought stuff but that that's fine with me but this is just so so runny still I just don't 
see it being a good use. It's still going to be good on toast. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's not going to waste. But I would like it to set more like this one. So I don't know if it's a matter of I have to do it in smaller batches or what. But I'm kind of at a loss. So if anyone has tips, I'd really, really appreciate it. Till next time, have fun with whatever harvest y'all are bringing in.